Hello and welcome back with another resume video. I'm going to name the title of this video better resume better IT resume needs some tweaking because this is definitely a better resume than the previous one. We talked a lot about that. Now in the beginning I want to do some introduction about this series that I have started because a lot of people may be sending same resume uh, again and again while we have created almost three four videos for almost 16 minutes long video and all this stuff gets repeated almost so make sure if you're brand new to the channel go to youtube.com go to jobs share click on playlist and then click on this it resume for entry level it jobs because we will not be making video on each and every resume we want to make sure that you see this stuff because that's where we are going to be repeating ourselves most of the time so this is our third one uh, because it's a little different because it's a good resume so I want to talk about how even a good resume can be better so this is the initial request uh, I have a computer programming thank you Danish so first of all thank you uh, I have an associate degree in computer programming and information technology I have taken all the free courses you have and I haven't had a chance to land a job I would love to work as help desk or desktop support. I guess because I don't have experience, they do not even look at my resume. Any tips for this? So first of all, I want to break this area because so many people have landed a job without any experience. And we, we have basically proofs for that. You know, people have came to our platform. So this is just your maybe thinking because maybe they are looking at your resume. Maybe you do need to tweak it a little bit. That doesn't mean that you don't have experience or they're not even looking at it. So if that's something you can take it out of your mind because that's not true. Uh, people people have even landed jobs just by watching Active Directory videos. So just how amazing that is. They, they just put, talked about Active Directory and that impressed people. So let's, let's clear that in your mind that it's not about your experience over here because we have we have proven if from academically there's no requirement for IT to, to land an entry-level job. There's no requirement. You just need to sell yourself in the interview. You just need to present yourself the better way. And you need to prepare yourself, which you are doing already. So you also mentioned that you have finished all of the free courses. Now, I believe and I assume you have actually finished it because this is 80 hours plus content right there. And I hope you did uh, because um, that something you will need you know when you when you get a call and everything and i'll explain it in a second so let's just jump into your resume so this is your resume this is how it looks um it's a it's a clean resume i like the the way it is um of course you can make it uh, better than this and i would prefer you use our template but if you want to use yours that's fine but you know as right from your starting um, you don't put entry level help desk uh, when you're applying for jobs you don't want to tell them that I want to I'm applying for entry level so you yes you are applying to that title but you don't want to mention that you you are entry level person you know you don't want to just name that it just, just doesn't look good so first remove this area and then shorten this a little bit i already talked about the big summary uh in the in the introduction area you don't want to put too many of like you know broader terms like you know um you already mentioned it till the issues right here so that's good you can actually use the one from ours and then use that but this is also good uh, no uh, no problem with this just remove the last line to so then it looks in one kind of like one paragraph you know so it's it it it, it changed right here so that kind of changes the tone you know even if there's one line people just get a little confused and it's just the human thinking you know we humans are very picky especially when people are checking your resume so you remove this line and then you have education right on top right usually you don't want to put education on top especially in the IT area because education is something that everybody knows that you went to some college you went to some some you know some place to get education they are going to be very interested in in the skills that you're going to bring to like you know okay do, do you even what are you doing like and what kind of things can i see in you right away in this resume if i look at it i'm like oh okay this person knows a lot about uh, stuff so when you put an education right there and you also put a certification right on top so first you put up education then you put in progress certification you already start mentioning that you are in progress of something so let's let's bring this down let them see some of the things that people get little impressed you know and that is something that i shown in my demo resume which you can download from here let's so let's go ahead and do it one more time for people so when you go to the jobscreenshare.org you register even a free membership you can come here click on resume builder we have other options for other people but here download sample and then open that okay 
So when you open that, I would definitely recommend you use this sample. I mean, I don't know this 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 is probably not the the most perfect resume ever, but it's 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 doing its magic. Everybody's using it and they get it results. So um, I don't know about you, but I, try it. Give it a try. If you didn't get a call from that, at least you can try this one, right? So you see how clean this looks. Like if I just open this and then open this, it looks much cleaner. Than that one and it's very focused so you got the summary of qualification you got the area of expertise so this is where i mentioned that if you have done the free courses here in your resume you have not mentioned it you have not mentioned it anywhere that you have done ticketing you have done active directory you have done office 365 you mentioned it over here a little bit but you put it in networking so you you put something major which can impress people in something very small like just a just a few terms like just terms where you just put it at sorry keywords so don't put it here because you wanna you wanna put stuff that's look like this it looks much cleaner because now your people are talking about ticketing system office 365 management you know when you put stuff like this it generate questions and that is the moment when you when I say sell yourself this is where you sell yourself because you talk about it then you talk about this course you talk about how real this is you talk about your passion like hey look i i don't i haven't worked in a in a corporate it world but i'm actually taking courses from people who have experience for 15 years of experience and i'm learning a lot of things from them and i'm i'm learning this ticketing system office 365 active directory user management and you target basically kind of like their mind basically so if there's an it person sitting in there they like that you know they they're looking at your passion they're looking at they're looking something you're connecting with them right now so if you show them this one right here then you don't have too much this they, they don't have too much to pick on you they, they're going to straight go to your experience then they're going to skip this area and when they skip this area the rest uh, since you don't have experience in it then everything becomes weaker so you want to be on a strong point right from the top you should be talking about this right so because they're going to ask you questions about this you know tell us about something like you know you say you put something like say client and server technology can you give us an example of this you put active directory user management can you give an example of this you know and of course you can fix things like you know the capital letters and everything however you want to fix this i'm not an english major myself so i do my mistakes and no no problem with that in it we do all these kind of things so don't worry too much about this stuff but at least make it look better you know and like I said, it's not that bad, but you can do much better than this, you know, by putting stuff like this. So if you have finished those free courses, I want to see it here. I, don't, I didn't see that in your resume. So maybe that's one way to, to make it unique and get some calls from uh, the people out there, you know. Now you're coming back to the technical computer skills. Like I said, if you are finishing the even the free courses, you need to know what you're talking about. So when you put stuff in here, this is going to be it's, it's going to matter because if you put Spiceworks, you have already started catching their attention. When they talk about Spiceworks, they may ask you a question because there are more than three million people in Spiceworks right now, IT people. So there is going to be one person that is going to know about Spiceworks for sure. Like 80 percent, 90 percent people, they know about this tool and they may ask you questions. How did you use Spiceworks? So you can talk to, about the same thing. Um, well, I didn't use it in the corporate environment, but I have actually done a full course where I have a lab. I have made my own lab and I, I ran some, uh, you know, Spiceworks scanning and I did this and that. And they're like, OK, yeah, OK, that's this is all you need. You need you just need a job. Then you just need a job and let the rest. We're going to teach you on our products because you are already telling them I have done something IT related. I have learned this stuff just like an IT professional. All you, all I need to know is now your stuff. What do you have? And and that's why you, I said in the beginning, you're you're basically connecting them uh, in their minds, IT minds, you know. So this is where you need to make sure when you put something here, you need to back it up. And but by backing it up, I mean is that you need to finish those courses fully if you haven't done it. Because the reason I'm pushing this because I know a lot of people come to this platform and since it's a free course some of them are free courses and they just zoom through it and if I ask them questions they don't know how to answer these questions so you don't want to be uh, you know in that position because you're just gonna um, you won't do well in interview then you may get a call but then you won't do uh, well in interview that will be another call for you then you know I'm not getting anything I, I'm going to interview but I'm not getting anything out of it so that's where you need to make sure you talk take these courses fully uh, and 
that would be my suggestion to you this is another professional experience of course what you can do here is you should find an internship i'm sure they're in new york there got to be some type of internship if you're going straight for the jobs and you're having a hard time in new york is a pretty big place and it's uh, uh some places are little you know famous than other places so i'm sure maryland is uh, maryland compared to new york new york is famous and a lot of people may want to go over there to live over there and stuff like that that's just a normal uh, how we we americans think of new york you know we want to go out there to big cities washington dc and thing like that so you're going to have good com competition over there so maybe you should start looking into internships maybe you should start approaching people that you know that give me some internship for free it's okay i'm going to work for two months or three months at least give me some references or show me some things people are willing to help you and especially places like craigslist craigslist is like you know if you put something in d.com or careerbuilder.com these are real companies real hr people but i'm not sure uh, i'm not saying that craigslist is not a real people but craigslist may have something that is very like you know oh, okay i just want to hire someone and i'm just going to post something today it's like this it's like very quick thing you know versus a company uh putting stuff on indeed.com and bigger uh you know sites but you should still go to indeed indeed.com and uh, look for this type of titles like help this intern tech intern it intern it support intern desktop intern put intern with it and you're going to see how these searches works for you they're going to come up with it and you you start applying to these positions out there okay so and at the end like i said put put your education down put your certification all the way down let people talk let people see what you have first and then let people okay you you got all that stuff now let's verify what what do you have you already have a degree which you can should should put it right here like i said to many people that you should put your degree out there and then you should put something like this it hands on training and certification so again if you're just taking this training for free then you remove the certification right from here and then remove the codes but just put the names out there don't worry about this stuff that you know people will ask you this is this is a course that you just took it is that simple people use these type of codes to verify yes some companies do do like to have the verification some companies don't even matter but you will never tell them that i took a free course you never use the free word right there you're going to tell them that i took a training in a platform where they teach real world it skills and i took courses from them it was amazing experience and you're going to sell yourself right there you're not going to talk about free courses you're not going to tell them it was a free course and i i did it this in in this way and that way as soon as you start about free free stuff youtube stuff then that's where the value goes down so i hope uh, there's there's few changes you should do maybe you should download this sample change everything back try to apply again and see what happens